welcome back to the channel if you're new here i am alfreda and this is my channel this channel is dedicated to helping you out with your scholarship applications um your career growth personal development and looking to be adding some lifestyle to it so we're doing some vlogging and all of that yeah so if you're new here please subscribe like the video and hit the notification bell so that whenever i come you would be the first to know that i'm here yeah posted a new video <laughs> all right guys so we're talking about the commonwealth shared scholarship all right so the commonwealth shared scholarship is a fully funded scholarship that is in partnership with uk universities so what happens is that uk universities would have to bid and after the bid slots will be allotted to these universities and these universities will be partly funding the awardees so they'll be paying things like best and um, the stipend the monthly stipends to the awardees and they'll be like paying the um warm clothing allowance and all of that while the csc would be paying the tuition fees the fa and everything when i say it's fully funded i mean it's fully funded your fa from like from nigeria if you're a nigerian from your country is fully funded now what are the criteria the eligibility criteria for the scholarship it is very important for you to know i told a lot of people that it's very very important to know the eligibility criteria for any scholarship you are applying to now let's get down to it all right guys welcome back so the common wishes scholarship like we said earlier is a fully funded scholarship and the eligibility criteria um uh, that number one you must be a citizen of a commonwealth country or you must have been granted refugee status or you are um, a british protected person and then you must be resident in that commonwealth country country rather um and then you must be unable to you see read my lips you must be unable to afford your studies if the scholarship is not given to you because that is very important commonwealth and um, scholarship is aimed at developing countries so it's not aimed at developed countries or high income countries for low income countries so you must be a citizen of a developing country or a low income country and then you must have gotten admission into one of the uk universities that have been selected for that common Russian scholarship for the year like this 2022 now the universities have done their bids and they've gotten slots so you must you have to choose between the you have to choose whichever university and then the course that falls for you under your your career or your career your field so you have to choose a course and apply so what you do first is to apply to the university after applying to the university you apply to the commonwealth scholarship commission or rather the commonwealth scholarship commission yeah so what are what is the degree like the degree qualification for application if you are applying for the commonwealth scholarship you must have at least a second class upper at least the second class upper or that's a two one or a two two but if you are applying with a two two you would need to attach a master's degree so you it means you must have done a master's degree and i tell people that it's actually fine if you want to apply for the common worship scholarship and you have your master's already it's fine you can have as many as possible master's degree in the world okay so in addition to it you must be able to study in september 2022 because that is the start date and the common worship scholarship is for one year it's a one-year master's program it is aimed at um financing individuals who are motivated and cannot um who are motivated and skilled so we want to it wants to encourage in developing their country so the aim is to 
finance those students or finance those yeah, individuals to UK universities and after their course they are going to develop their countries. So that is why the Commonwealth Commonwealth Shared Scholarship is under six themes. When you have science and technology for development, the strengthening health systems and capacity, access inclusion and opportunity, strengthening resilience, response to crisis, strengthening global peace, security and governance, and then promoting global prosperity. So just fall under all those themes and you have to write your essays based on those themes. We're going to be talking about the essay writing very soon. So yeah. Now under these themes, under the science technology for development, you can have science related courses technology courses and different universities i always advise people apply for more than one university so that your chances it's it's like a logic it's not like that is what plays out in the long run that's not what that's it's not like that's commonwealth criteria so if you apply for more than one courses they'll just give you scratching that's not it what is my candid advice that you should apply for more courses so that you can have a wider range of like a broad opportunity if a school does not nominate you another school could nominate you yeah guys so under this um, strengthening health systems and capacity it could be for medical doctors nurses and all of that promoting global prosperity could be under economics entrepreneurship and all of that Strengthening so global peace, security, and governance could be under policy making, um, law, um, and society. A lot of law causes and um, other social engineering causes. Strengthening resilience, yeah, and response to crisis would be maybe um, causes relating to um, international policies on crises um, and all of that. Access, inclusion, and opportunity could be under, could have causes like education and etc. and all of that. So you have to check and then check for schools to apply to. So immediately you check the schools on the um, Commonwealth Shared Scholarship page. What you do is to apply immediately to apply immediately to the university check the requirement for the university like i said in my previous video if you've not watched it the link will be showed up so you can actually click on it and know what you should do before applying for scholarship or applying for admission in a school so yeah so now after applying for the scholarship for the admission what you do is to apply for the scholarship now the scholarship has 11 you have to write 11 essays for a scholarship that means for a school you will have to write 11 essays now i'm going to be taking you through how to apply and what you should do what you should write in your essays mm -hmm.